Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how I create a hooded beach towel backpack. This is the picture of the final product. I will show you how we're going to create that. Okay, so first you start with a hand towel that's roughly 26 by 16 and a towel, a regular bath towel, that's roughly 48 by 27. They vary in size, but the system is still the same how to create it. So what you do first is you take your, your hand towel, and what you're going to do is fold it in half and cut it right in half. Once that is complete, what I do is I take out my serger and I serge the edges. So here's my serger and all I do is I take the end and put a serge on my end. both pieces. Now once that is complete, on one of the halves that you have created, what you're going to do is you're going to cut three inches off the edge. So here we're going to cut three inches off. Use my head. Throw that piece away. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this seam here, this thick seam, so it doesn't wreck later on in your serger or your sewing machine. You're going to take this apart. Grab your seam ripper, and you just rip the seams of this towel. On the half that you cut the three inches off. Then what you do is you open up that seam, Oops, take these pieces of paper away, throw that away, and what you do is you end up surging this end also with it open. And if you don't have a serger, you can just give it a good zigzag with your machine, your actual sewing machine. It just keeps it from spraying and falling apart. And there you go, you got one piece ready. Now what I do is I take the other half and I rip that seam also. The reasons for me ripping these seams is because when I go to sew them, these edges are so thick that I have sometimes issues with my machine, my sewing machine, so I'd rather not wreck my sewing machine. So what I do is I rip these seams and then I just fold it over once so it won't and I end up folding this over. I will show you that later so it's not so thick. So actually you end up wrecking both sides of the hand towel. Okay, with the other half that has not been cut, you fold it in half. Take anything that's a circle and line it up. With, make sure the folded edge has the circle here and create your line. I don't have children, so I need to do this. If you have children, then you can actually take one of their hoodies and measure their hoodie to make sure you have the right proportion. Now what I do is I take this and I bring this over to the serger. And hopefully this doesn't wreck my serger. It's very thick. So 
done is made your little hoodie for your beach towel. Okay, once you have your pieces done, I just take an extra straight stitch with my sewing machine along the top edge just to make sure it stays in place. If your soldier works better than mine, you may have to, you might be able to skip this part. I need to do this just to make sure this stays. Just adding a straight stitch. And yes, sometimes get stuck. Just catch your fibers at times. Never caught this many times. Just because I'm videoing, this is going to happen. Don't worry all about this. Nothing will happen. It doesn't come apart. Just snip them off. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your ends and you're going to do your seam back. This is a step you can skip. I just happen to do it. Like I said, it gets very, very thick here and I don't like putting too much pressure on my machine. So what I do here is I put the edge in and I give it a zigzag at the end. And you're making sure you're lining it up, making sure it stays a little straight. It's not going to be perfect, but it doesn't show after you're done. Make sure you catch it though. pieces and all you're doing is finishing off that edge just so it's not so thick now what you're going to do is you're going to take this belting you can actually use part of the towel if you buy extra towels to make this but I find it's easier just to use this cotton belting you want to cut two 15 inch strips one two Again, what I do is I take this cotton belt in and run the edges through the serger just to keep it from fraying. Now what I do is I take your belting, find the center, make sure you have the right, you're putting this on the right side. This is the wrong side, this is the right side. So you take your belting, you find the center. What I usually do is I take a pin, once you find your center, the very center, you put both straps very close together here, right under that hemming. Then what you do, I found the best measurement is three inches up from the bottom and two inches away from the, the edge. I find that to be the best measurement. Again, if you have a child, you can actually measure your child to see what's best. Pin it. Now when you're putting these, make sure you're putting these going up and then you take it and you just bring it down. So you're going to have that little curve. Two inches. Three inches. Perfect. And what you're going to do is you're just going to sew, bring this over to the sewing machine and sew the machine. Now we're just going to sew these down with a zigzag stitch. Make sure you're doing your back stitching to make sure. And I like to make sure it's really stuck on this. So I'll do my back stitching as I go along. Just to make sure it's nice and There we go. That side's done. Done. Bring it out. And 
cut your threads. Then go to the bottom and do your bottoms. Again with your zigzag stitch. I don't like to cut my thread every time. I just kind of bring it over. And There you have your little straps are connected what i have done now is i have taken out the seam of one of the actual towels before you're putting this down to fix it so again so this edge these edges are not too thick you need to make button holes so what you're going to do is you're going to take your top piece Find the center of this, so you fold it in half, find your center, sorry for my head, here's your center, ouch, pin yourself, okay, and you already know this is your center on this, so you put these centers together have to be absolutely perfect but the best that you can do then mark this edge and you go to the other edge and you mark this edge now what you're going to do is you're going to add your buttonholes your buttonholes are going to be on the right side this is the wrong side your buttonholes are going to be on the right side so now that you have your pins in to tell you where you're going to place them, we're going to go over to the sewing machine and we're going to add some buttonholes. All right, so here we go. We're going to try to make our buttonholes. We have it marked. Now you want to make sure it's on the bottom, that your buttonhole is on the bottom half because you will be folding this in half. So you want to make sure your buttonhole is on the bottom half. So we'll start about here. settings and here we go oops that's my thread be creating three buttonholes on this side. There's one we'll do here and we'll do another one. Now once you've created your buttonholes, what you're going to do is you're going to make your slit inside your buttonhole very carefully so it opens up. Again, very careful. And you do that to all three. Then with your buttonholes, you're going to fold this over and start doing your zigzag to hold that down. Okay, now that you've prepped all your pieces, you get your towel all set with your holes, you get your backpack piece and you get your hood. Now you want to try to start to assemble. What you're going to do, again, find your center and do a pin. Oh, 
or whichever way is easiest for you. This is easiest for me. Take your towel, making sure the wrong sides are together. Find your center. Do a pin. Now that you know where your center is, turn it around, or whatever is going to be easiest for you. Wrong side goes down to the right side. And this is a good way of measurement. You're taking about an inch. This is roughly about an inch. So what you're doing here is you're finding your center, your center, and this is where you'll put your first pin. Right in here. And all you do is you go along the edge, do roughly about an inch. You do have your edges here. And you pin. And you go on this side. And you pin. You take this, you go to the sewing machine, and you're going to do a stitch on the bottom. And then right here. So you're going to have a double stitch to make sure that stays secure and stays on. Okay, here we are at the sewing machine. We're going to sew this on. Make sure it's correct. This is where that thickness, where you took it apart to make it thinner, is going to help. Make sure it's all straight. And just do a, a stitch all the way down. Sometimes it comes in handy knowing you have these lines in your towel, so you can kind of follow those. Back stitch. There you go. Now what I like to do is turn it around. And now what you're going to do is stitch this on. So you take this, put it under there, and do your other stitch all the way back down. And there you go. You just put your hood on your towel. Like so. Okay, now that you've put your hood on, which is right here, this is your towel. This is the wrong side of the towel. You're going to flip your towel over, and here are your buttonholes that you created. You're going to take your other piece, making sure the straps are on the inside, like this. Lining up your center, and this side here, and this side here, and pin. Where are my pins again? So we're going to pin this together, like so. Pin this together. And now what you're going to do is just kind of line it up. Try to do the best you can, making sure your straps stay on the inside here. You don't want to be sewing those. I give it a little bit of a tug, and again, because this has lines, you can kind of line it up, and you pin. Same thing on this side, give it a little tug, not too, too tight, but just a little tug, and you pin. You pin it all around, like so. Now what you do is you take it to your sewing machine and you sew from here, do not sew up here, from here all the way down and around to connect your piece to here. Okay, here we are. We're going to sew our piece on. It's always easier to kind of roll up your towel a little bit to kind of fit in here. Now you got to get it 
just to the end over here. But you don't want to sew the whole top. You're going to be putting a string in there to stretch it later. Okay, and now what we do is we just sew all the way around. Do that stitch and just sew around. And snug there. Lift up, turn, find your pin, take it out, <laughs> and just continue on. Again, you're only sewing to this seam over here. No, you're only sewing to this edge right here. has been connected. We are going to add some string inside of here. Okay, now you're going to take this cording and you're going to string it through inside. This is why we created those buttonholes. What I usually like to do is I start from the center where you had created the three. You start in the center. And now what you're going to do is you're going to feed it all the way through. And then you're going to bring it all the way through this side. You go back to this one and you finish it up. I like to leave my ends roughly, I don't know, I'd say no more than four inches. I think that's enough of extra. Now that you've created your whole towel, I'm going to show you how I fold it. Flip it back over, put the hoods on that side, you find your seams, your ends, you fold that over. your seam, fold it over. Again, because of the lines in the towel, you kind of know where to go. Take your hood and fold it in. Now this is where your seam is. So you know you're going to be almost doing it in half here. Fold this up to the bottom, as you can see. Again, you don't have to be this fancy. You can just reinvert it whichever way you want. Okay, now that you have this created, all folded to the same, take it, you grab the towels, and you invert it. Fix the insides. Better. Pull your strings. And there you have it. Your child is ready to go to the beach with the backpack. <laughs>